What's going on everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today I have a really exciting drop from Discraft. I got the brand new first run ESP Swarm. It's a pretty chunky overstable mid-range. Looks like it has like a zone OS-ish type bottom and then maybe like a buzz type top. They're extremely flat. They feel very overstable. It's a 5304. We're at Reedy Creek. Play nine holes with the Swarm. It feels so overstable. I pretty much have to go with the Heiser line. Oh man, dude, that thing is absurdly overstable. If I can get like two birdies today, that's going to be a major victory for me. I think people are going to really like this as a nice overstable approach disc. Let's, let's look at that flex. Oh, that's going to be a really awesome approach disc. It's very torque resistant and very overstable and reliable. Tapping out a nice par with the swarm. This thing is really nice on the forehand. It's absolutely board flat. Hole two, 237. This could potentially be a good hole for the swarm. I always slip on this tee pad. Want to hit that big flex. Nice swing over to the left. Hopefully we can get a birdie look here. <sighs> yep. That's perfect. Miss it. Yes. That should be absolutely parked. All right, we've put ourselves in the circle. We've got the Kratos in hand. Paul Macbeth, easy birdie. Andrew Presnell, Paul Macbeth, dynamic duo. Now, to be honest with you guys, I'm an absolute sucker for an overstable mid-range. It's been a bit of a slippery slope for me. I started with the Quake, then I moved on to the Buzz OS, then I moved on to the RPM Kotuku, and it seems like they just keep getting better as time goes on, and the Swarm feels like one of the top-tier overstable mids I've ever thrown. Hole three calls for a nice, juicy flex forehand. Oh, <laughs> that was, we're going to redo that one. <laughs> Take two. Dude, it's so stable. That thing can handle just about all the flex you can put on it. Except for on my first throw. All of you power throwers out there are going to love the swarm. There it is. Oh. Wow, I just missed the ace by like one inch. Oh man, that thing's sick. After Andrew Presnell won the Champions Cup, um, they very shortly after released the Andrew Presnell Swarm, which I have not thrown yet. But in my experience, all of that new clear jawbreaker plastic is actually a little bit straighter. Um, that's my opinion of how everything's been flying. So I would assume that that would carry over to the Swarm as well. These new ESP ones are like super duper stable. Really, really nice for those force flexes, chop anhyzers. Really, really useful utility mid-range. Something you can, <laughs> without a doubt, count on. In fact, I think this ESP run is so stable, I don't think I can backhand it up there. So we're going to have to go with the chop, super high forehand, hole five, my favorite hole in the course. <sighs> Cut in its prime. I put that on so much Anheuser and you could see it pretty much got all the way to flat before it even hit the ground. Thing is so stable. Hole six is probably gonna be a little outside my reach. It's a par three, 280 feet. Again, only the biggest arms are getting the swarm there in my opinion. It's very stable, but we're gonna do our best with what we've got. <sighs> oh, that was still gonna come up a hundred short, but we, we kicked super left. Let's see if we can get up and down for the par. <laughs> I'll see you guys on hole seven. Oh no. The swarm for me is not really one of those one disc round type of discs for me. Definitely finding the struggle bus on a few of the holes here, but hole seven's a pretty good hole for the swarm. I need to hit this gap on slight Annie, and it's going to dump right down towards the basket as long as I can hit this center gap on Annie. That's going to get us a putt at birdie, probably a little bit too left, but that's exactly what the swarm is supposed to do. It's supposed to be torque resistant and it's supposed to go left. All right, the swarm got us into circle two range, going back to the Kratos on the green here. Come on. Let's go. That's a big putt. Those Kratos go crazy, man. If you haven't tried the rubber blend Kratos, go get you one over at Power Grip USA. Hole eight, 230 foot par three. 
The last two holes here are really nice flex forehand holes for the most part. So I'm hoping to be able to get at least one of these two birdies with the swarm. We're able to sneak a birdie on the last one, but I think that was more due to the Kratos. Flex. Oh, that needed just a little bit more height, but it was definitely going to continue coming back. Oh, Paul McBeth! Oh, just on the back side. Last hole, hole nine. This is the perfect swarm hole. This is why we're here. The swarm was built for hole nine at Reedy Creek. Forehand flex. That might be aced. Oh, that's absolutely parked. This is the perfect hole for the swarm right here. That like 50% power chop forehand flex. It's just so smooth for that exact shot. The swarm is so money for those little flex shots. Really nice new drop from Discraft. Again, those flight numbers, 5304. I think part of the makings of a good drop is having accurate flight numbers. And as disc golf continues to grow as a sport, the flight numbers are more important now than ever as new players get into the sport. We need the flight numbers to be reliable. And the flight numbers on the Swarm are exactly accurate in my opinion. I'm getting so much fade, literally zero turn. This disc does not want to turn. I think even if you threw this 80 miles an hour, it's still not going to want to turn. So the flight numbers are accurate. It's nice and board flat, which feels so good on those forehand shots. And I think we have a winner from Discraft and something I think they should be really proud of um, when it comes to just completing their mid-range lineup. There's a lot of us out there that thought the Buzz OS just wasn't quite stable enough, and the Swarm is the exact answer to that. Get yours over at Power Grip USA. Use my discount code ICEBERG10 at checkout. It'll save you 10% on your order. All orders over $70 ship for free. You can get the Swarm or anything else over at the website. Save yourself some money. Get free shipping. I'll see you guys in the next video. And take care.